Hello and welcome to Interactive Arts, I'm Austin Fisher. StarCraft is a real-time strategy game with millions of players around the world. A recent University of London study says that real-time strategy games promote cognitive flexibility. I visited Wildcraft, an esports club at Kansas State University, to see what they think about the study and the competitive gaming scene. The study recruited undergrad students from the University of Texas and tasked them to play either StarCraft 1, StarCraft 2, or The Sims for an hour each day. The study suggests that the parts of the brain supporting cognitive flexibility can be tuned by video game experience that stresses attention of many sources of information. Wildcraft player Connor Mahalovic says he has noticed changes in himself because of StarCraft 2. Well, like, I can definitely notice like when I'm studying or things like that, I can like grasp a lot more contents at once. I'm also like, good at like memorizing, like it's also increased like I'm able to remember things a lot easier, but as far as like I can, I can focus on more things at once. You have to be injecting larva, you have to be spreading creep, you have to be keeping map control, you have to be, you know, having your army active on the map, you have to keep an active account of like how many drones you have, you have to know, you know, when you need to build certain structures, you have to know when you need to move up, like static defense and stuff like that. And so like there's a lot you have to be focusing on at once, and if you fail to do so, you won't become better. And it's so like after a time, you just force yourself, just repetition, you know, memorization, all those things. My hands just like know when to do things. Sam Proctor is president of KSU Wildcraft. You know, if I wanted to socialize uh, with the greater campus, um, I wasn't, it wasn't around video games, you know, it was around football or alcohol or whatever, uh, real typical college stuff. Um, and for some people that shift works and for some people it doesn't. And so I, I really am interested in creating this sort of space where People who want to play video games and want to talk about video games can hang out. And so that's what the social aspect of, of Wildcraft is. And to, the, to that end, we've been really successful. We've had people say that, you know, Wildcraft is the reason they chose K-State. Uh, we have, there's a student who's not even at K-State yet who is really excited to come, at, uh, to, come to Wildcraft. He um, is a senior in high school this year and is totally excited about it. His brother has come up and talked to us and said, you know, like, uh, how happy and thankful he was that his younger brother is like excited to come to K-State and excited for Wildcraft. And I mean, I think that, you know, uh, <laughs> if we could get just a modicum of recognition for that, that would be really cool because we're doing stuff that like is the stated goal of a number of uh, offices and faculty members on campus, which is involving freshmen and, and undergraduates uh, that would otherwise not be involved. Coley Galloway got interested in StarCraft II when he noticed his friends talking about it online. One night he started watching a live stream of the pros playing and didn't stop until early in the morning. The game, it's my favorite thing on earth to watch. Like I would rather watch that than any professional sport. And I'm a huge sports fan as well. Um, but I would much rather watch StarCraft than like the Super Bowl, for example. These players aren't alone in their excitement about watching competitive gaming. Esports is the fastest growing sport in the United States. In the summer of 2013, the U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services began issuing athletic visas to professional gamers wishing to compete internationally. League of Legends player Carlos Rodriguez makes nearly $1 million a year from tournaments, merchandise, salary, live streaming, and sponsors. The Blizzard World Championship Series, or WCS, is a StarCraft tournament organized by the game developer with a $1.6 million prize pool. The cross-region finals of the WCS, streaming live on Twitch TV, begin October 25th. Austin Fisher, Interactive Arts.